Hello, Meth here again. After some uh, demand for people asking how to change my alien vision colorwise, I decided to make a little video on how to explain that. I have teased that in the last video that I've done already. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's get going and we will start with a, a setup where you can easily change the alien vision that how you you want it and that you can immediately see what it does. So first we will need to go to the to main directory and in that you create a folder that you uh, name whatever. Just just name it uh, a name it in a way that you can really recognize it. For me I called it math AV test. Within that folder you uh, create another folder shaders and within that you put the darkvision.hlsl if you want to work with my alien vision which uh, link I will post in the description for the workshop and I will probably also uh, link the file itself download link for that if you want to work with that as a basis put it in here and the next thing that we want to do is we want to Back to the NS domain directory and create a um, port cut. Pardon the German Windows version, but I hope you know how to create a shortcut, uh, which is for me that. I called it NS2 hotload.exe, and within that, we want to go to properties, and here in the target, the target line, behind this. Uh, well, where the ns2.exe is, outside of the quotations, you um, type dash hotload, space, dash, la, dash, game, space, and then the name of the folder that you created here. And what that does is it will, oh yeah, from after that, you want to load the game from this shortcut. If you want to work with the alien vision or if you want to alter the alien vision and I will quickly show how that works so uh, I will in here and edit the and will edit the I have the dark vision file open now I will explain in a moment how to um, how to read through that code and change what you need to change and on the other hand I we open the NS2 hot load so just to quickly show I do not have any mods enabled and if I start a server local server And join aliens once it's done. The alien vision is loaded automatically. Now, what is what you will need to do is uh, just for this, uh, you need to set the game to windowed mode. And for this specific purpose, because I need to shrink all that down on one screen, I will uh, run with a lower resolution. And it's a little bit to the side. And what will happen now, when I am uh, altering this file, which is being hotloaded, and I will save it, the changes will automatically apply here live. But on the building here, for example, on the hive, if I just tweak that value and save, this hive is turning yellow. This is a good basis to how you want to change, like, this is a first good basis on how you want to uh, set up so you can change the file and then see immediately what it does. For the code itself, I gotta say I'm not a, uh, I'm not an expert for this, 
I can basically just do some basic explanation what to change if you want to change colors and stuff. The first part from line one to probably here, we don't touch. It's um, pretty much like that in every alien vision. I do not know what it does. I do not touch that. What is happening here is we are uh, setting variables. The variables are called in this case edge color blue, edge color dark blue and whatever. Um, and over here what this is, the first three values are RGB values in exponents from 0 to 1. Meaning uh, 0 would be uh, in an RGB value of 0 and the 1 would be in the RGB value of 255. Uh, if you want, for example, 128 in that specific color value, you basically just type 0 0.5. Um, I can blend in the mathematical formula, the math formula, to uh, calculate what value will translate to here in the video. So, um... With this, you basically set the colors of what you um, this you set the colors of what you exactly want uh, the colors to be. So here I'm on the marine team, and we have, for example, the dark blue, where have the dark blue should be my marine structures. What happens if I increase that value and? Uh, Last value should be the alpha value. I am not 100% sure what it does, but if nothing happens here, increase that value, and okay, this thing gets a little bit brighter. So it's basically a multiplier for the intensity of the color what I correctly just now. For the brightness of the color. Anyway, now that we have those. Anyway, so those are the basic colors you want your things to have. And down here you will see what will be colored as what. Meaning um, under... Oh yeah, in here we can see the... Um, we can see the line for marines. Basically it's written here. This is for marines and sentries. And the edge color blue in here refers to this variable where the RGB is set here. Um, so next one, this is uh, for this line where it says marine structure 0 0.98, this was referring to the marine structures and so here we have the edge color dark blue which refers to uh, this one. Here we have alien players which uh, is edge color orange, refers to this one. Uh, next one, gorgeous edge color green. And refers to the one up here and edge color dark red this is uh, targets and world ends uh, this is the alien structures which uh, dark red refers to. Mm -hmm. and this, those are for the colors of the entity for players and buildings the next one this bit down here uh, is how you see the rest of the world that is not one of the entities. For example, I'm looking at uh, this bit down here. Those two numbers are setting how dark you want the entire background to be. If I would set this to 0 0.1 and save, you will see the entire uh, background is much brighter and it darkens a lot less. Uh, the closer this value is to um, 1, the darker it will be. Actually, I'm a little bit interested what happens if I 1 to 1. You have apparently complete darkness. So if you do not want to see any colors at all, I do not recommend it because you cannot see uh, like broken glass textures that way. So I like to put it on 0 0.9. 
This way I can see broken glass here. Uh, you can see umbra and spores that way. Next bit, uh, we also have the edges. I will like the world edges that you see here in the uh, in the dark gray. Those were uh, this value. No, the value was something different. Oh, this one also. Um, this one is also another value on how strong you entire thing will darken. So this. And this will work towards that favor. I am looking for the edges. Edge color too. So it would trigger that one. And this you can change the color of the edges. Uh, if I were to put this one on zero and this one on zero, RGB. So it would best the edges should call it blue after that. And yes, we have blue edges. So RGB as well. We have it, in this case it's 1.0, 1.0, 1.0 to be 255, 255, and 255, which will result in white. Back here we should have a... a I'm not quite sure what this is, if I'm honest. But it looks like it will change the color of edges that are further away more blue. I do not know how to change that color though. I personally do not want that, so experiment with experiment with it a little bit yourself. This is why I have set it up like that. You do not need to know all the values. Um, you can experiment with it a little bit yourself and see what will happen. What I am looking for a little bit is how to increase the like strength of the edges and One wasn't this, that was probably the line above that. So just let's see what happens. This line in this line we will have the edge strength. Not one for how they work mathematically. Again, tweak your values there until you find something that uh, that you like. So uh, another thing that I forgot is uh, this float minimum intensity. The higher this value is, the more your uh, player entities will quote unquote glow. For example, if I set this to one, you will see they will get brighter. If I Puts this to 0 0.1 it's you will have the bright outline still but the filling of it is uh, a lot weaker personally prefer 0 0.5 so that's why i have it like that so uh, this is how you would basically color your uh, the alien vision and create a, your own version of it once you have that done um you will I recommend making a mod out of that and I will quickly show you how that works as well. For that I will quickly return all my options to what they used to be, so mod and me. Uh, option graphic and I play on Okay. Back to the display. So once you have the values that you want, you will uh, you save this file, of course, and then we are going back to the NS2 root directory, and we are opening the launchpad. Create a new mod. Um, this is the name of the mod. This is where the mod will be saved. I have my mod. I have a mod for that already, so I'll quick open that one. This is saved under. Um, I have it on a different hard drive, and I have my own mods and my uh, folder for that. So uh, once once you create your mod, you will see something like that. 
and this uh, in the output folder you will just copy the shaders folder from here into uh, when you open the output folder you will have will you copy this shaders into here to the output you will have your uh, dark vision hlsl in here that will have and what you do after that is you just hit publish and you publish it after you've done that you will have created a mod on the workshop you can then go into your uh, theme profile uh, go to workshop items and your own workshop item will be here you just subscribe to it and then in game you will see your mod in the workshop uh, mod list one sec out well I'm start as you just see I started uh, NS2 via uh, Steam or via Steam itself and you go here on the mod you look for the your own mod which is uh, meth AV in my case enable it restart and once you you can join a server or you just uh, open a listen server doesn't matter it works both now we wait for the map to load And we have uh, the alien visions that you have created as a mod set up in game. Now you do not need to use my uh, alien vision as a basis for that. There are other alien visions that you might prefer. For example, uh, I think Hughes is old, which is like the one with the uh, green fog and the orange marines. Or um, this works with depth fog. It is a completely different uh, system. So. What I would recommend if you want something more along the line of that, but a tweaked version, you uh, download his mod, find the uh, find the darkvision.hlsl, and then uh, tweak tweak it from there. See where you can go using the same method I've basically just showed you.